Elon Musk reveals he lost his son because of LGBTQT. Wait, what happened? Let's have a look. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Wa alaikum salam, I hope you're well. A new species of virus has been discovered and that is taking over all of the world. No, it is not any other contagious virus. Rather, it is far more dangerous. And the main targets of this virus are none other than children. The virus first attacks children's minds and then the whole body gets infected by it. The information about this virus was given in an interview by none other than the billionaire Elon Musk where he informed he that one of his sons had this virus, which resulted in his untimely demise. Elon Musk recently gave a very personal example about his kid, Xavier, now known as Vivian, in Wait, an what? interview with Jordan Peterson. Musk Wait, what? He has a son called Xavier and the son is now called Vivian. Subhanallah, Known as Vivian in an interview with Jordan Peterson. Musk clarified that in the difficult early days of the COVID-19 outbreak, he felt tricked into agreeing to Xavier's use of puberty blockers. Musk they? voiced his displeasure at not knowing that medications that prevent puberty can also work as sterilizers. He expressed his sorrow, he stating kids. that his he son. had essentially lost his son, explaining that there is a reason it is called dead naming, and attributing the loss of his son, Xavier, to what he referred to as the woke mind virus. I lost my son, essentially. They call it dead naming for a reason. My son Xavier is dead, killed by the woke mind virus stated Elon Musk. Physicians who perform gender transition surgeries on minors have come under fire from both Musk and Peterson, yeah. who labeled the practice as evil. Musk pledged to fight against what he called the woke mind virus, which he... You know, you know what? And I'm sorry to say this. Maybe a lot of people that actually feel this way are going to be upset about this. But guess what? You don't determine your gender, okay? This is determined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he creates you. And even if you cut something away of your body or you're trying to use hormones to change your gender, if you die and you get raised up on al Qiyama, you get raised up as your original gender that you came in in this world. That means if you are a dude and you do some surgery to become a woman, when you die and you raise on the day of judgment and you get resurrected, you will be resurrected as a man again, even if you were before a woman, because you come back in your original original state right so even if you change your gender in this dunya in the next life you will have your original gender and if a person is a female and dies as a female they are in jenna a female if a person is a male and dies as a male he will be in jenna a, a, a male you can't change that same with jehennem you will be what you were before like your creator will put you back to your gender so even if you do some modifications in this dunya, it is in vain. It is in vain because in the next life, you will be back to your original gender. And this is something to think about, right? Like think about life after death, I mean the resurrection, about Jannah, about Jahannam. Think about this. Like even if you feel a certain way, yeah, and you want to say, oh, I don't want to be a man anymore. I don't want to be a woman anymore. Think about as what you will be raised on the day of judgment. Think about this, please. The woke mind virus, which he holds accountable for these circumstances. I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so they, the reason it's called dead naming is because... Uh, your son is dead. So my you son's have grandchildren from him. Killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. Yeah. All right, so let's. So I vowed to destroy the, mind, the woke mind virus. After. Why are you willing to make this an issue? Do you think? Uh, I mean, well, it's it, sort it, of it like the name of this my, issue. It happened to one of my, my older boys. Um, uh, where I was, um, I was essentially tricked into uh, signing documents uh, for one of my older boys, tricked. Vader, 
more and more kids are developing the misconception. I wonder how he exactly got tricked into this. So, so his son said, hey, I'm, I'm sick, uh, dad, but um, I need your signature to get certain medicine. And no, no, it's nothing dangerous and this and that. And then he didn't read what sort of medicine it was or what it does. And he just signed it for his son or, or how was he tricked? Like, this is something I would like to know because in order to get tricked as a parent to sign maybe a document for like some medicine, shouldn't it at least say what sort of medicine it is or was he like hiding it with his hand and his father didn't see what it was or like i don't know about the details of how he got tricked but you as a parent you should always read like w what is my my son or daughter getting w what does it say what is this exactly like, if you do everything like quickly like you, you get a document hey dad can you uh, sign this please because um, I, i'm sick i need the medicine uh, but hey, I'm in a hurry, please do it quickly. And the dad is like, yeah, 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 sure. And then just sign something without reading it or what? Like, how did he get tricked? This is the thing. Uh, for one of my older boys, Xavier. More and more kids are developing the misconception that they are born with the wrong gender and require therapy, puberty blockers, or gender affirmation surgery to change it. This is a result of the current wave of transgender rights and gender diaspora. Even at the ages of eight or nine, these kids think they already know what gender they should be. Although God, the all-knowing, misunderstood because he gave them the wrong body. May God forgive us. A number of children's I mean. prescriptions for puberty blockers are written off label or without approval. And they can wow. have harmful side effects such as decreased bone density, stunted growth, and irreversible infertility. Research on transgender therapy's long-term impacts on children is scarce, and there is also proof of their negative consequences on mental health. And when Islam attempts to draw criticism for any of these modern practices, it is branded as being outdated and transphobic. Okay, so let's say... Okay, I, I have a question, okay? So let's say they are right and every boy should become an infertile woman right and every woman should become an, in, uh, an infertile uh, man right then what about humanity it will go extinct like if this is the right way of life then how comes this is the end of of life of the civilization on earth at the same time because if people no longer start families, there's no longer like pregnancies going on. Uh, nobody can have their own kids. Like what are people are going to do in the future, right? Like we are going to all die on this planet. There will be just old people. And who is going to take care of old people without uh, children, right? Okay, let's give an extreme example, right? Like let's say there's some government right and maybe every government in the world does this at the same time okay let's just say everyone on this planet is now lgbqt okay either you change your gender or you are gay or something right and this is the norm and everyone becomes like that then let's do the math what happens in 50 years from now to those people they will be in their 70s 60s 80s who is going to watch for the old people, take care of them, help them maybe go to the toilet or help them uh, with the housework, uh, cut the bushes in the garden? Like who is going to help the old people if this is the norm and everyone does this, yeah? Then there's the last generation on this planet with millions of billions of people and they're all elderly people because no more children are being made. We gotta live a on a grandma and grandpa planet and when grandma grandpa dies no more human life on this earth if this is the right way of life then explain me why is the outcome this that there will be one less generation of old people if everyone follows this and then there's no more life on this earth and all the old people that live in this generation they're gonna live a miserable life because they have no young people to take care of them and here it says even infertility so Puberty blocker, yeah, you change your gender. But uh, Xavier, that is now Vivian, will not get pregnant from some dude. Like, what does she want to do? She wants to walk up to a dude and be like, Hey, honey, uh, I used to be a guy. Now I'm a girl. Can you marry me? We can raise a family. But what? What is going to happen? She cannot become pregnant. They cannot have children. How is that logical? It makes no sense. 
accepted as being outdated and transphobic. But the truth is that Islam is a religion that will exist till the end of time. Thus, its laws will always be relevant. The gender of any child is decided by none other than Allah, than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exactly. when the fetus enters his fourth month of conception. And that assignment of gender is the most correct one because it was given to us by not any doctor or surgeon, but by all knowing and all seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever rebels against the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not find solace even if they change into whatever their hearts wishes for. Yeah, they will Nobody, be raised no matter who they gender. are, can change the gender of Allah's creation. May he be exalted from male to female or the other way around. When someone ever feels to change the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remember one thing, these are nothing but the whispers of shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, I will certainly mislead them and delude them with empty hopes. Also, I will order them and they will slit the ears of cattle and alter Allah's creation. And whoever wow. takes Satan as a guardian instead of Allah has certainly suffered a tremendous loss. Look, the Quran In the talks interview, about this. Elon Musk stated that he has vowed to destroy this woke mind virus. Certainly, he got a bit late in realizing his enemy, and because of which he has to lose none of his sons. We hope that other parents too realize what dangers lie ahead of their children and take a step forward to safeguard them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us and our children Ameen. from the traps of Satan. Ameen. Ameen. Yo, may Allah guide Elon Musk to Islam. I mean, but yeah, what I mentioned earlier is if people are not happy with their gender, like you cannot have any uh, say in like on the day of judgment, Al Qiyama, because even if you change your gender, you will be raised in your original gender. And secondly, if this was the right way of life, like I said, this would be the end of humanity because no more children are being born. Um, we have a lot of old people, but no young people to take care of them when they get sick or they need help. And after this generation, it's just over. And the last generation is going to suffer a lot because it's going to be a planet full of old people. Like, yeah, you can say now, ah, but you can maybe clone humans. Ha has anyone cloned a human successfully yet? Don't talk nonsense. Like, just you make crazy claims, right? Or you can make a person that changes the gender become fertile. Has there been any single case or breakthrough yet of human cloning of making a male become a, a, a female and then they can get successfully pregnant and give birth like has there been a case like that like don't make fantasy claims and say yeah but in the future maybe you can clone humans uh, when you do a gender change you can do a perfect one where the individual can get pregnant or make someone pregnant and and, and produce uh, something or, like did this happen? Do you have any evidence or, or, or proof this can happen? It's just a theory. A theory stays a theory until it's proven to be correct. And you can't just have a certain belief or theory and in the future it doesn't happen, for example, right? Like you need to prove it scientifically because if you now follow this in this time period, okay, let's say everyone becomes LGBTQT today, right? Do you have the guarantee that in 40 years there's a scientific breakthrough that you can clone humans or make them fertile if they do a gender change? Do you have the proof in 40, 50 years it's possible? Because it, if this happens now, at least when you're 60, it's impossible to have children, right? So if someone is 11 and they change gender, right? H how can they know until they are 50 or maybe a bit younger? Because even 50 is, I think, low chance to get pregnant, right? Like you have no guarantee this is going to work. So if this is the truth or this is your real belief about life, you don't even have answers. You don't have answers to the solution of this planet and, and how society can still function if nobody has offspring anymore. And in order to have offspring, you need a woman and a man. That's just how nature works, right? Like you can't go against your biology and, and change it, but it's an imperfect change even, right? Because you can't get pregnant and you can't make someone pregnant. And there hasn't been no scientific breakthrough of human cloning, like I said. So this is totally not logical. This is not what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. And from a religious perspective and me as a Muslim, I believe in the family structure of men and women and then children. Why? Because this is how we function, how our body functions. This is how our Creator wants us to live. And to get married is a sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad And when you marry someone, 
you either marry a man if you're a woman or if you are a, a man then you marry a woman that's just how, how how it works but yeah i hope Elon musk sees the truth sees islam as the truth and may allah guide him i mean and yeah if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content if you found this video informative please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time inshallah